Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about a media that you can use in the lab to grow certain bacteria in certain situations and that media that we're talking about today is called chocolate auger. As I always tell my students, no, it does not actually have chocolate in it. It's just a brown color and that's why it's called chocolate auger. So let's start talking about this medium. It is non-selective, meaning that it will um, allow um, pretty much anything to grow, but it is enriched, and that is in order to support the growth of certain bacteria that we consider to be fastidious. You can think of these bacteria as being kind of picky. Um, so I'll write that right here. They're kind of picky. They don't grow very easily. They won't grow at all if put on some more common uh, types of lab media that are not enriched to support their growth. And so the chocolate auger is made of lysed red blood cells. I'm gonna put a little star right here. The reason that the, uh, the, the chocolate auger has that brown color is because of the lysed red blood cells. And this is what makes it different, what makes chocolate auger different from uh, kind of normal blood auger is the fact that the red blood cells are lysed. And so they are lysed and this provides uh, two important things. First, it provides iron for these fastidious bacteria to grow. And it provides a few different growth factors that are present inside those red blood cells um, and, and available in the media once those red blood cells have been lysed. And that is the coenzyme NAD, sometimes called NAD, and another uh, growth factor called HEMIN, H-E-M-I-N. And so these two growth factors, sometimes people will use a more um, kind of antiquated term for them, and that is factor five. I'm gonna write a V here, like a Roman numeral V, so that's factor five. And then uh, hemin is known as factor 10, always again with Roman numerals. So I'm gonna make the, the Roman numeral X there for the Roman numeral 10. And so NAD known as factor five, hemin known as factor 10, and sometimes you'll still encounter those names in the literature. And so now let's talk about the kinds of bacteria that we're commonly trying to grow. Basically, which fastidious bacteria are we trying to grow on chocolate auger? And this is different species of the genus Neisseria and the genus Haemophilus. So these two genera, Neisseria and Haemophilus, species of those two, these are the fastidious bacteria that we're trying to grow with the chocolate auger. And now you'll probably remember me saying at the beginning, non-selective, meaning that there are a lot of things that can grow on chocolate auger. And so specifically, we're using it to look for the growth of Neisseria species and Haemophilus species in body fluids that are typically sterile. So think of things like blood, um, cerebrospinal fluid, body fluids like that that are typically sterile to see if there is an infection in a patient, uh, an infection caused by one of these types of bacteria. And then you can identify the specific type of Neisseria or Haemophilus growing on the chocolate auger uh, by different characteristics in the colonies that are growing on the auger. So you can identify species based on things like size, color, consistency, margins, that kind of thing. So this is just a visual inspection of the colonies to identify you know, which species of Neisseria or which species of Haemophilus is present in that body fluid and causing an infection in that patient. Now, we can also modify chocolate auger to make it selective for the purposes of isolation. And what that means is that if you have, uh, if you're drawing a sample from a, a site in the body, for example, that is not typically sterile, think like the mouth or the nose, um, you can have some modified types of chocolate auger that will prevent the growth of most other bacteria, allowing for isolation of some of these specific species of Neisseria and uh, Haemophilus. So let's first talk about Thayer-Martin auger. This is one of our modifications. 
And this is chocolate auger that is supplemented with a supplement sometimes called VCN. This is an acronym. The V stands for vancomycin. Vancomycin, of course, is an antibiotic and it is used to inhibit the gram positive bacteria. So that's why it's being added to the chocolate auger to inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria. The next one, the C, stands for colistin. This is a specialized compound that inhibits the growth of most gram negative bacteria while allowing Neisseria to still grow. So Neisseria species are, um, they're generally resistant to, to the effects of colistin. So colistin, I'm just gonna say it inhibits most gram negative bacteria. Uh, again, while allowing some of these species of Neisseria to still grow. And then the N in VCN stands for Nystatin, and that is an antifungal, so it inhibits fungi from growing. So by supplementing the chocolate auger with the VCN, that's the vancomycin, colistin, and Nystatin, you can inhibit the growth of this unwanted, <coughs> excuse me, of these unwanted bacteria and fungi, and this allows the isolation of Neisseria gonorrhea and Neisseria meningitidis. <clears throat> Another modification to make selective, to make chocolate auger selective for isolation is chocolate auger with basitracin. <clears throat> so I'll underline that right there. Basitracin is another antibiotic. It's a, it's a broad spectrum antibiotic that is meant to inhibit the growth of um, you know, virtually all bacteria. And chocolate auger with basitracin is used to isolate Haemophilus influenzae. I actually had some students uh, win a science fair uh, recently by using chocolate auger with basitracin to look at the groups of people that had H influenzae in their nose and how this could be used to um, look at that, that group's susceptibility or resistance to being infected with influenza. So that was a pretty cool project. If you are interested in other kinds of growth media, I have several different types of videos on the different kinds of media that you might use to select for one bacterium or select for another bacterium. And those are all in a playlist, the bacterial media, bacterial growth media playlist. And I will link to that in the description. That's it for today. And thanks for watching Biology Professor.